Malema lies to the masses and makes it seem like white people are the ones that came up with the idea of borders. We were divided by the Boers who imposed borders on us. We never said we want borders. These borders were imposed on us by the colonizers. We are one people. He wants everyone to blame white people for the borders that exist between countries. I don't understand why we support someone who is so obviously inaccurate. Welcome to Citizen Concerned, where we remind you to be careful of the comrades. A simple search in history will show that Malema is a liar, and if he's not a liar, then he doesn't have a clue what he is talking about. Egypt existed as a country with its own borders for more than 5,000 years. It had its borders and those borders have changed several times. The Egyptians were neighbors to a kingdom named Kush, which they raided and or traded with throughout the centuries. Ethiopia is also among the oldest countries in the world. It has existed for thousands of years under different names such as Abyssinia. Manelik II destroyed the Italian kingdom's first attempt to take Ethiopia during the scramble for Africa. It managed to protect its borders from invaders, aka colonizers. The kingdom of Dahomey, located in present-day Benin, was in big business, the business of slave trading. It raided the borders of other kingdoms to take slaves. Kingdom of Dahomey's borders were raided by the Kingdom of Oyo, which included present-day Nigeria, in 1740. The Alawite dynasty, which is present-day Morocco, is known for its wars to expand its borders. Where were they expanding those borders into? Thin air? No, it was into other African kingdoms' borders. And as the culture in those days, they would take slaves and sell them to Europeans and Arabs. Other kingdoms that existed with their own borders long before the colonization of Africa are the Kingdom of Alada, the Ashanti Empire, the Songhai and Mali Empires. All these kingdoms had their own borders, but borders changed over time. Modern borders have created stability and security as well as more peace for most of the earth. Zimbabwe is our home. Let's call it Zimbabwe. We are one thing. Mozambique is our home. DRC is our home. Botswana, it's our home. It sounds nice, but the truth of the matter is those people are coming to South Africa for economic reasons. They're not here to start homes in Jay. They are looking for jobs because South Africa is currently doing far better than the majority of African countries economically. That is why you see that South Africans are not trying to go and stay in Zimbabwe or Mozambique. The vast majority of South Africans, along with other Africans, are actually trying to go to countries like America, Britain, Australia. Why? Not because it's our home there, not because they don't have borders there, but because the economy is better there than anywhere on the African continent. Neglecting these facts, basically Julius Malema wants us to have no borders and no control over who comes into the country. My friends, that may sound nice because we want to be black and united and all, but this is a misguided and dumb idea. You don't agree? I have some examples for you. Biden and his party over in America love the open border policies while most of the citizens are against it. Donald Trump was elected into office because he promised to control the American borders. The reason why the majority of American citizens are against the open border policy is that unskilled immigrants are pouring into the country and accepting low salaries for jobs, thus taking away jobs from the citizens and documented immigrants. Drugs are pouring into America through the Mexico and US border right now, causing a surge in the American drug crisis. Still not convinced? Let's go to Paris. Paris is struggling with foreigners. Half of the crimes committed in Paris public transport are credited to foreigners. Africans alone are responsible for 
2% of such crimes, while only representing 3.2% of the population of France. 52% of crimes are committed by 3.2% of the population, that population being Africans, foreigners. Now let's come back home. South Africa already has a serious drug and crime problem. And there is one nation that is very commonly named whenever drugs are mentioned in Africa. But we won't name them here, so let's move on. South Africa is failing to employ its own citizens. More than 7 million people are unemployed and that number continues to grow. If all agree that Africa must allow free movement, where are all these immigrants going to be employed? Where will they live? Does that even cross our minds? Look at the overpopulation in Hillbro and Joburg CBD. The economy of a country dictates the population of people that can be sustained by that economy. South Africa does not have enough doctors, hospitals, schools, roads, jobs and houses for its own citizens right now. And Malema is telling us that the Europeans imposed borders on us. We never asked for them. We don't want them. We should get rid of them. And then we cheer him on? Like, really, we're cheering that on? What about the fact that the more immigrants we have coming into South Africa, the fewer resources we have for everyone? A country is like a house with its own family. There's a reason why we don't just invite people from the street or from our neighborhood to come and stay with us. If they are poor and suffering, we help them. We donate, but we don't tell them, hey, come live with us. It's not because we are evil, but simply because we cannot afford to take care of everyone. No matter how rich we are, we can only take care of a few people at a time. If your house is the nicest and the cleanest in the neighborhood, with the most food, clean toilets, Wi-Fi, entertainment, where do you think the majority of the community will flock to? There, right? By doing this, you're going to welcome undesirable kinds of people into your home. Criminals can easily make their way into your home and you would never know because the gate is open for all. The border is open for all. I have to control the people that come to my house. Otherwise, my children will not be happy when there isn't enough food, when there are no rooms for them, when they can't receive pocket money, or when I say we don't have money or we can't afford medical aid, right? Know your history and don't cheer anyone just because he has a loud mouth and makes you feel good. Now you know that Africa has always had borders in its various kingdoms that existed way before Europeans came to Africa. And you now have seen a glimpse of the dangers of open border policies. Share this with others so that more people are informed. This is Citizen Concerned and we have warned you, beware of the comrades.